Well, today we are cleaning and decorating my kitchen for Christmas. I love bringing out Christmas decor in every space of my home, if possible, and the kitchen is where I'm at often. So I wanna make sure it's clean before I put all my cozy Christmas decor out. While I'm decorating and cleaning for you though, I thought it'd be fun to answer some questions that I got on my community tab and Instagram when I asked um, when I made my Q&A video about a month ago. So I will get to some of those questions, but first make sure when you decorate, wipe everything down. After the spring and fall, uh, or summer and fall bugs, there's so many little fly spots on my white cabinets, my um, backsplash, and then I just make sure to give my countertop a good wipe down because I do have to oil my countertop once a month and so that is why it is completely cleared off and hey that way I have a blank slate. Okay so here's a question. What advice do you have on navigating the holidays while keeping Jesus as the focus? What a very um, challenging question because sometimes we can get overwhelmed with all of the hustle and bustle of the holidays making sure we have our house is decorated um, presents for our kids and family we have all the extra activities to go to Christmas programs caroling um, skating whatever it may be but one thing I do with my family is an advent calendar um, and then just kind of talk about what the true meaning of Christmas is I get a few Christmas books to incorporate like the nativity and um, we read those every year as well as who Saint Nick is. We do not do Santa Claus in our house. Um, I think it's important for my kids to know where Santa Claus came from, the origin, and so I have a book on Saint Nicholas and the true story of who he was and how that originated. My children are involved in the church Christmas program. Um, and we just do a lot of things that relate to Jesus and so they get a lot of Jesus in the house and I just think it's so important to um, keep that in the forefront while we do all that we are doing. Next question, what are your best homemade frugal Christmas gift ideas? Ooh, this is a fun one. Sometimes I don't do homemade just because my family, well, my extended family, they make a Christmas list and so we buy one gift for um, in-laws or a sibling and then my kids buy, a, they do a gift exchange as well. So we really don't spend a lot on gifts or we don't have a lot of gifts to buy, which I love. But when I do gifts for friends or neighbors that are homemade or frugal, I will go thrifting. I will buy a basket or a tin. I'll fill it with Christmas cookies. I'll make a homemade hot cocoa mix, a homemade cookie mix, and give that to the friend. I'll find thrifted candles or a thrifted ornament. I just think thrifting and regifting is totally okay. In that same vein, someone asked, will you be preparing any home crafted gifts for Christmas? Food or something else? When do you begin holiday planning? So there's two questions there. I will be making some DIY beeswax candles that I throw in gifts and into my um, sisters and sister-in-law stockings and moms and then I will be doing cookies. Every year we give um, probably a dozen to 15 plates of cookies to our neighbors, to some of my husband's employees. So that is something that I really enjoy doing and making for um, other people. When do I start holiday planning? So I've never hosted for the holidays. Um, I go, my family lives further away and my husband and family lives about an hour away. So we do always travel to one or the other, but I always ask if I can bring a pie or dinner rolls or something like that. And so preparing for food wise is probably a couple weeks in advance, but for Christmas, and what we want to be doing for Christmas, what we want to do in preparation for the holidays. I usually think about that right after end of October when I start putting my Christmas decor up. So those were the most of the questions, not a whole lot, but I thought I would just answer some of your questions to um, just share what we do for Christmas. And I just think the holiday time is so special. It goes way too fast. 
when you're seeing this video there are only well it's the week of thanksgiving so there's like a month left before christmas and that is coming so fast but i just enjoy getting my home ready with all the different decor that i use uh, lots of things are from the past i might just rearrange where i put it in my home make it a little more special by adding some extra new greenery that i found um, on amazon or thrifted and i just really enjoy having my home special for the holidays we do gather some family and friends for like christmas eve um, do some friends a different weekend before so i do have some gatherings and some events at my home just not the big christmas day event but it's still fun to incorporate some festive decor and pretty natural and simple for my space even though i love this season it doesn't have to be fancy it's a lot of thrifted it's a lot of neutrals and that's what i enjoy in my home and now it is time for me to make my butterscotch cookies this is one i have made for years and they are just super delicious if you like butterscotch butterscotch chips with butter and flour sugar of course because it's a cookie and then i just make christmas cutout shapes for these so i'll put the recipe in the description box for you because it's in a recipe book that i have that i use every year and so i don't think you can even find it online but if i do i will definitely link it for you I do think preparing ahead of time with cookies and having the dough balls or the cookie shapes frozen raw in the freezer is ideal because I will frost these cookies or at least put a little glaze on them. And so when I need to deliver a plate of cookies, I'll have my um, five or four or five different varieties that I make up ready to go. I can just bake them that week or that day and get the platter of cookies delivered. Working with your hands, even not for the holidays, is so special and giving that as a gift because you put the effort and time into making something special for people and cookies I don't think is a bad way to go because food, people enjoy food and it's just a love language for a lot of people is food and that can be shared to anybody around you. So I hope you enjoyed cleaning and decorating with me, making some cookies, getting some questions answered that maybe you had about the holidays and the Christmas season. And I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and stay tuned for more Christmas inspired videos coming your way.